Hi everyone, it's Joe from uh, Great Product Reviews. Um, in my last video I showed you guys how to uh, use the sorting feature in Excel to sort, for example, if you're a sales manager and you're, you're, uh, you have your employees here and you're um, looking at who made the most and who made the least, you put everybody's name and you sort from by descending and we got the highest to the lowest. Um, in this video I wanted to show you guys how to create a chart to see that visually and see how uh, and show you how easy it is to do and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just squeeze squeeze these shut a little bit make some space I'm gonna put this chart over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight um, the information employee name uh, sales for September um, and I made sure that these numbers were in not just number or in, everything's defaulted to general up here um, and it just shows you a number I change it to currency and usually it has the two decimal places there I just click these arrows here and if you click they uh, change the decimal place and took out the uh, cents there so I'm going to highlight the entire thing and go to go to charts column I'm going to select this 3D clustered column. And that created this chart very quickly for me. I'm going to go ahead and expand it. Always remember to hit shift when you're dragging something from the corner so it can maintain the aspect ratio and not get distorted. So as you can see here, it um, picked up the title from this one, sales for September. It has all the numbers here. It automatically starts from zero and goes up to the highest and I put everybody's name under each bar. So I could, I, it's still sorted properly the way I want it from highest to lowest. Now I'm going to show you guys how, th this is a little difficult to read because um, the minimum here is zero and really we were looking at from 86,000 that George made and 52,000 that, that James made. And we want to we want to kind of get a better picture of that. So what you do is you double click on these numbers, oh, my computer is being a little slow, <clears throat> and you click on scale. And you notice here there's minimum, maximum, major unit, minor unit. Um, what we're looking at is minimum. Minimum is zero. Now James made what fifty two thousand. So if I really want to make this chart look really dramatic, I can make the minimum 50,000. And that will really show who's on top and who's not. See that? Now that the minimum is 50,000, James and Matt look like they did very, very poorly this month. And Bob seems to be doing okay. Stan, <clears throat> Stan better, Luis better, and George is, uh, is on top. And that's a very, uh, very easy to read chart. It's 3D looking, and it gives you all the pertinent information you need. Uh, it's very simple. Now, there's a, a lot of different options here. You could do pie charts, uh, line charts, scatter, and, and, and all these other types. And I definitely encourage you guys to mess around and play with it. Um, but I uh, just wanted to give you a, just a brief and a quick overview of the charts. This is probably one of the most common types of charts you'll use in this in this scenario where you're showing a quick glance of who's done what. If I highlight it, I mean if I just hover over it, it shows me the value. Because you can't really tell just by looking at the increments here. But that's it. It's pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, leave them for me. Um, if there's anything that you want me to do for you, if there's something that you really want to do and you can't figure it out, um, ask me a question or leave me a comment with the with that and I'll go ahead and try to figure it out for you if I already know how to do it I'll just do it real quick and make a video for you uh, and, and show you how to do it thank you guys for watching if this video helped you was informative uh, definitely give me a thumbs up I appreciate the support and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video thank you for watching